Hello everyone welcome to the series on the history of english language and in this video we are going to discuss the origins of names england and english introduction the names england and english carry a long history that reflects the complex cultural and linguistic evolution of the british isles the origins of these names are closely tied to the germanic tribes that migrated to england during the early medieval period particularly the angles saxons and jutes this video will explore the historical development of the names england and english the distinction between various germanic tribes and how these names came to define the land and its language the germanic conquerors and the name saxons the celtic inhabitants of britain referred to their germanic conquerors as saxons indiscriminately largely because they first encountered these invaders through raids conducted by the saxons along the coast early latin writers adopted this term and frequently referred to the inhabitants of the land as saxons and the territory as saxonia however these names did not exclusively refer to the saxon tribe but rather to all germanic tribes that invaded britain including the angles and jutes the use of angli and anglia over time the terms angli and anglia began to appear in latin texts alongside saxons these terms referred not only to angles specifically but were often used to describe all the germanic tribes collectively for instance Pope Gregory addressed Ethelbert the king of Kent as Rex Anglorum in 601 similarly Bede in the 8th century titled his historical work Historica Excelsiestica Gentes Anglorum using the term Angli to refer to the various Germanic groups in Britain the vernacular English and Anglesin in contrast to latin usage writers in the vernacular consistently referred to their language as anglis derived from the name of the angles which in old english was called angle the language of all the invading tribes whether angles saxons or jutes was collectively referred to as english the land and its people were initially known as anglisin the kin or race of the angles This term remained prevalent until the Danish period. From around the year 1000, the term Angloland, land of Angles, started to be used, making the emergence of the name England. Why England took its name from the Angles? It remains unclear why the land eventually took its name from the Angles rather than the Saxons or Jutes. One possible explanation is the early dominance of the Anglian kingdoms and the need to distinguish the British Saxons from the continental Saxons. Another possibility is that the Angles simply held a position of cultural and political prominence among the Germanic tribes that settled in Britain. Now let us study the origin and position of English. The Germanic roots of English The English language as we know it today is the product of the dialects spoken by the Germanic tribes that migrated to England during the early Middle Ages. These tribes included the Angles, Saxons and Jutes. Despite their geographical and political separation over time, the linguistic differences among these groups were relatively minor. English belongs to the low west germanic branch of the indo-european language family sharing many characteristics with other germanic languages characteristics of english language english displays certain characteristics common to all germanic languages these include grimm's law the systematic shifting of consonant sounds that distinguishes germanic languages from other indo-european languages weak and strong verb forms english verbs are divided into weak or regular verbs such as fill filled filled 
and strong verbs that form their past tense through internal vowel changes. Strong stress accent. English, like other Germanic languages, places a strong stress accent on the first or root syllable of most words, which played a crucial role in the reduction of inflections in the language over time. English as a Low West Germanic language. As a member of Low West Germanic group, English shares specific phonetic changes with German and other languages in this category. English, however, did not undergo the high German sound shift, a modification of certain consonants that occurred in the languages of southern Germany. This exclusion places English in the lowlands of the West Germanic linguistic area, along with the languages of Northern Germany and the Low Countries. Conclusion The names England and English trace their origins to the Germanic tribes that migrated to Britain in the early Middle Ages, particularly the Angles. Over time, these terms came to define not only the people and the land but also the language that evolved from the dialects spoken by the Angles, Saxons and Jutes. English as a low West Germanic language shares many features with its linguistic relatives but also developed unique characteristics that distinguish it from other Germanic languages. The history of these names and the language they represent is a testament to the rich and complex cultural interactions that shaped early England and continue to influence its identity today. So this was the discussion on the origins of names England and English. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other topic. Until then, goodbye and thank you.